Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, the General Amir Ali Haji Jadeh, the commander of IRGC Aerospace Force, has announced about Iran's acquisition of a hypersonic ballistic missile. As per the general, this hypersonic ballistic missile was developed to counter air defense shields and can maneuver at extremely high speed both inside and outside the atmosphere. It will be able to breach all systems of anti-missile defense. This missile, which targets enemy's anti-missile system, represents a great generational leap in the field of missiles. Now, this announcement comes after Iran has admitted on Saturday that it had sent drones to Russia but said it had done so before the Ukrainian war. Russia currently leads the race to develop hypersonic missile followed by China and United States. While the details of hypersonic missile is not disclosed, it's most likely going to be based on a hypersonic glide vehicle similar to Chinese DF-17, which is a combination of Chinese solid-fueled short-range ballistic missile DF-16B and hypersonic glide vehicle DF-ZF. Now, as we have discussed multiple times, the hypersonic missiles are mainly of two types. One that uses scramjet engines such as DRDO's HST-DV and other that uses hypersonic glide vehicle. The HST-DV will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missile. The hypersonic cruise missile keeps a constant hypersonic speed and are powered over entire course of their flight by a scramjet engine. In contrast, the hypersonic glide vehicles are usually launched on top of ballistic missiles and often referred to as a boost glide system. The hypersonic glide vehicle then glides back through atmosphere to their target at hypersonic speed. While there is no official confirmation, the Iran's new hypersonic missile will be based on glide vehicle and not a scramjet engine. The reason is simple, the scramjet engine is a niche technology which no country will share even US, China and India is struggling to mature it. The test connected by DRDO in the year 2020 was based on the scramjet engine. In that test, DRDO was able to successfully demonstrate the hypersonic combustion for just 20 seconds where HSTTV continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of max 6 or nearly 2 km per second. DRDO had been tight lipped in the recent few years regarding development of HSTDV program. TRDO has planned to develop two hypersonic cruise missile based on HSTDV technology. The first one is going to be surface to surface missile with a range of around 2500 kilometers expected to enter service by 2024-25. The second one is a smaller compact version of hypersonic missile with a range around 700 kilometers that can be launched from an aircraft. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Defense has also encouraged private players in the development of hypersonic technologies. On 11th March, the Ministry of Defense had announced 18 major platforms for the industry-led design and development under different categories. 14 defense projects have been identified under Make One category, which also includes hypersonic glide vehicle, where Ministry of Defense will provide financial support of up to 70% of the total cost of the prototype development. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.